This is the Svantec 971 Class 1 sound meter. Actually, I'll just I'll show you the basics of it here. So let me turn this off for now. So I'll hold these two buttons at the bottom. Power it off. On the bottom, there's a little screw you can remove. Um, and there's also a, a connection for down, uh, connecting to the computer. You can unscrew that, and that's where the batteries are. There's four uh, AAA, and they show you the orientation on the back here. There's a connection to put this on a tripod. And again, this is a class one meter, so very accurate. To turn it on, you hold down these two buttons. You'll see it boot up. I'm going to start. This is the calibrator. So I'll, I'll show you a quick calibration. This is set to automatically calibrate. So if I turn on the, I just clicked on the on off button, put the meter into the calibrator. And it'll take a couple seconds, but it should realize that it's uh, in the calibrator. Okay, so it's recognized that it's auto calibrating. It just did its calibration and I just have to hit enter to confirm a little bit of drift and if you're using this for a project you want to calibrate before and after running the uh, you know, running the meter so let's go into the menus so what we have is a shift key start stop these two together sorry shift start stop these two together turn the meter off and on there's buttons to move around uh, so arrow buttons escape menu and enter so escape menu and enter so if I want to go into the menus I click shift and menu so one thing that I want to what I would start with is under instrument you have user interface so you could set this to be very basic that's just basic start and stop features simple is you know quite a few things enabled in the menus but not everything advanced enables everything and the, and the meter is can has some very advanced features so I'm going to leave it in simple for now another thing you want to check under instrument is real-time clock so you may want to go in and set the time and date now this can be done on the meter or it can be done by connecting this to the computer and synchronizing it with your computer. So everything's good there. I'm going to exit out and what I'm measuring here is sound like L with an A filter and slow. So that's what I'm seeing here at the decibel reading up here at the top. There's a it shows the SD cards installed. This unit has Bluetooth. It's the 971A. So it works with an app. Um, the little block says it's stopped right now, so we're not running. The battery is full and the time. Let's go into the menus again. So if I go to measurement, actually I'm going to go up to function first. So measurement function, I could just use this as a simple sound meter. If the option is there for octave band, I can have that. This is really neat that it has the dosimeter option. So you could set this up, especially if someone in, or a worker is stationary most of the day, you could set this up to calculate dose. Um, or you could put it on a worker, I guess, as well. But it works as a dosimeter um, to figure out the, the a worker's dose, basically. So we could choose any of these. And all you would do is say, if I just wanted the regular sound meter, I'd highlight it hit the right button and then exit out. But I'm going to leave the octave band on, exit out of this. Calibration, you can see the last calibration, the calibration history, you can clear the history. The best thing, I'm going to put a, a link in the description so that um, to link to the product page because the manual's there and it's best to download the manual and take a look at it. General setup, sync. Now, say if I was if I wanted to start, instead of, uh, like, so this would, if I hit start, it would wait for the first full minute, so that if I started at, say, uh, it's 10.17 now, if I said start at the next full minute, it would start at 10.18, right on the dot, um, so you wouldn't get any kind of weird timestamps. The, um, now you could, 
you'll put that out further by 50 minute intervals or on the hour or whatever. The integration period, you know, a lot of times it probably is the uh, uh, for eight hours, but um, you could have it infinity, 24 hours, eight hours, one hour, right down to, uh, you know, very short inter integration periods. I'll leave it at eight hours for now. Now, if I made a change, it would ask me to, to save it. So I'll, I haven't really made one, but I'm going to just hit enter. Now, there, are, in this meter, there's three profiles. I usually work mostly with um, profile one. Um, I'm in Canada, so the ACGIH values are usually used and, and, and the um, settings for, for a lot of occupational health and safety kind of slower noise or regular noise would be the A filter and C on the peak and then the detector set to slow. But that's so that's the first profile if I go to profile two. So it's like having three sound meters in one. I can run different filters. For example, this see this uh, third filter or third profile is set with a Z filter, which is basically no filtering at all. Um, so anyway, that's the profiles. Logging. I can turn the logging on. I can name the logger, the, the logger file. Now it automatically increments every time you start a run. So the next one after this, it would record L29. If I stop and start again, it would go to L30, but I could put a, a real name in there. So I'm not going to cover every one of the functions in here. Um, I will, uh, let me see, I'm going to exit out of this and I'll just show you how to start a run. But I, like I said, I'd recommend downloading the manual and looking at it and seeing all the different features. Start and stop, I'll hit this. It's gave a short delay. It's actually waiting again till the next full minute to start, like I had said, so it should start at 1020. And again, this is just so your data looks nice if you're looking at a table. So five seconds more. Now this meter, you can um, uh, you can have an option where it will um, record audio files, wave files. Say if I had it set to, there's a way to do it. I'm not getting into it in this video, but uh, say if anything over 90 decibels, you could have it record a short wave file to uh, download later to actually hear the sound. You can also make voice notes in here. So if I'm going around recording, I could um, push the buttons and I'll get in. It's more in the manual, but you push the buttons, you can actually say, okay, I'm in a certain area of the plant and that voice tag will stay with the data. So I'm, I'm reading real time right now. So it's profile one. This is my real time reading of L, basically the sound with the A filter and slow. You can see that um, the Bluetooth and this little arrow up here shows that it's running. If I click through some of the readings, now this is the instantaneous octave band that's showing all the different frequencies uh, in real time. And this is the logger file name that when you download this. Okay, so that's the basics of the meter. If I want to stop it now, I would just hit start stop. This switches to a little block and now I can shut the meter off with the two buttons here.